Hey everybody, it's your girl Cece. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a review and get ready with me of some new makeup that Buzz Agent actually sent to me by Isadora Cosmetics. Um, I haven't gotten anything from Buzz Agent in a while so I was really excited when they emailed me and asked me if I wanted to review over $200 of makeup. I was like, uh, yes, get in my mailbox. <laughs> so I am wearing a full face of Isadora Cosmetics right now. The only thing that's not Isadora Cosmetics is the brows and like the primers and stuff like that. But everything else, oh and the lip liner, but everything else on my face is by Isadora Cosmetics. So I'm super excited for you guys to see this review. It's definitely an interesting one. I just leave it at that. <laughs> it's definitely interesting, but I'm excited for you guys to see. Um, so before we get into the video, girl, can we just address this new hair color, okay? Like, I am freaking obsessed. I haven't done red hair in like, oh my gosh, probably two, three years now. And I am like really excited to be back to red. Um, so if you are interested um, in knowing more about this hair that I am rocking, definitely let me know. And I can most definitely do a video just on these bundles alone. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I did want to quickly run through the products that they sent me and then we're gonna jump into the tutorial. So the first thing that they sent me is this makeup blender sponge which you guys know I am obsessed with any type of um, beauty blender or dupes for the beauty blender so I definitely want to use that they sent me their stretch lash mascara they also sent me a um, eyeshadow quad of like some nude kind of shades they also sent me their active all day wear 24 hour sweat humidity proof foundation which I live in Florida so you guys know sweat humidity proof I'm like all for that so they sent me that they also sent me a twist up gloss stick and this shade called toffee pop which is like a um, brownie kind of shade they also sent me their glossy eyeliner so this is like a um, liquid liner I haven't opened this so I don't know if it's like a felt tip or not but they sent me that they also sent me a face sculptor that has a bronzer a blush and a highlight and then the last thing that they sent me is this super cute makeup bag that says Isadora on it and you can open it up and it's a nice black soap bag that you can put all your makeup products in and that is everything that they sent me so i'm super excited to try out these products so um i can't obviously do like a full full face with this i'm definitely going to be missing like some things like primers and stuff like that so anything that i don't use um, anything that i use that's not isadora cosmetics i'm just going to kind of skip over that so you can see exactly how these products apply but yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and skip into the tutorial all right, so let's start on the eyes. So this is what the palette looks like up close and personal. Nobody ever uses these cheapy little sponges, so I'm just gonna put those over there. And I am gonna go ahead and swatch these eyeshadows. All right, so those are the swatches. So that is it right there. There's definitely kick up. They're definitely powdery. Um, so, I mean, first impressions, this is called Mighty Nudes. And that's exactly what these shades look like, especially the darker shades that look muddy. Um, but we're going to keep an open mind. You know, we're going to try them and just see how they apply. I definitely am need, I'm going to need to go into my um, regular palette for a transition shade because those brown shades just do not look like they're gonna do well. <laughs> so now that I have that shade on, I am going to go into here. I'm gonna grab a clean brush and I think I'm gonna go in with this, like the lighter of the two shades. Okay. 
I'm just gonna place it with my bigger blending brush and blend it out. And now I'm gonna take that, um, the darkest shade in here, this shade right here, and I'm just gonna see what happens on the outer corner. to grab the lightest shade right here and use that to highlight the brow bone and then I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm gonna apply this on my lid I usually wet shadows that I put on the lid so I do want to just like Kind of see how it looks on its own and then see if I need to wet it. So this is what it looks like on its own. This is shadow, no shadow. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to wet this one. Okay, so I wet my brush. So I'm going to try it again and see what this looks like. And I mean, it's a little bit more pigmented, but it's still not like blinding. But we are gonna keep going. Hopefully this tutorial gets better because I'm like not impressed right now, like at all. So far, this eyeshadow palette is a no. I am not feeling that at all. I mean, it definitely has some pigment, but mm -mm. Not impressed. Okay, but we're gonna keep an open mind though. We're gonna try the liner, we're gonna try the mascara, you know. We're gonna try all these products and just see what happens. The glossy eyeliner here. So opening it up, um, it is a felt tip, but it looks to be like a little bit on the bendy side, which I do like. I don't like like a hard, hard felt tip. So we're gonna see how this applies. All right, liner is on both eyes, so let's go ahead and open the mascara. That is the applicator, so very, very spiky. So let's see. Okay, so I actually do like the mascara. I really do. Um, I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but in person, I can actually see my lashes. So, happy with that, for sure. All right, so that is it for the eyes. So let's go ahead and move on to the face. So I've already primed and everything. So I'm just gonna go right in with foundation. I'm not gonna color correct or do anything because I really wanna see what this foundation does on its own. So because I did get a makeup blender sponge, I'm gonna take this half of my face and I'm gonna blend it out with the sponge. And then I'm gonna take this half and blend it out with a brush and see if I can tell a difference. So mine is in the shade 16 Warm Beige. It has this little applicator on the inside, and then that's what that looks like, which I don't understand the packaging <laughs> because it's like, once this goes down, you're not gonna be able to preach it. So, okay, um, but we're just, you know, we're gonna try it out and just kinda see what happens. I've never used this before, so I'm really not sure like, how much to apply 
So I don't know if this is a little bit or if this is a lot. And no, I'm just going to have to put this on the back of my hand because um, this little applicator thing is just not working. Like at all. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. So it doesn't look super thick, but it's not like watery either. All right, so I got my sponge wet. So let's start blending this out. The sponge actually feels super soft, which I like. So that is the sponge side. And let's go ahead into the brush side. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Not a huge difference between the sponge side and the brush side. I mean, I feel like there's a tad bit more coverage on the brush side, but the sponge side doesn't look bad. All in all, I mean, I really don't feel like there's a super amount of coverage with this foundation anyways. Um, the... Yeah, it doesn't say anything on the packaging about if this is supposed to be medium coverage or full. Um, it just more so talks about it lasting all day, humidity proof, oil free, and all that. So, I mean, the foundation is okay. I would definitely say it would be a foundation that I would mix with other foundations that I have because alone, I mean, if you like, like a light coverage, then, you know, that's cool. I more so at the minimum go for a medium coverage but I mean if you like a light coverage it does look nice it feels lightweight on the skin um it looks okay so let's go ahead and move on to the um, face trio so this has a bronzer a blush and a highlight so I'm gonna start with the bronzer shade Yeah, this is powdery as well. Okay, the bronzer is definitely going on super light. Um, it's not, you know, wowing me yet. Um, so we'll see what happens. Nope, still nothing. Like, you could tell I have bronzer on, but it's not giving me, like, bronze to the guides. So, I don't know, girl. Finished, so let's go ahead and I just cleaned off my brush and we're going to go in with this blush shade. Yeah, blush shade is abysmal. Like, it looks like I have nothing on my face. Um, so I'm not a fan of that. So hopefully, Lord, please let this highlight do something. Because right now, whew, girl. Okay, so <laughs> let's just move on to the highlight shade and see what happens there. But... It's not super blinding, but it's definitely like more pigmented than the bronzer and the um, blush, I say. So that's something. This is what this looks like, and you can twist it up. And that is what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna just apply this lip liner. And let's see how this looks on the lips. Uh, 
But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys next time in my next video. Bye!